Bobo Kids. Hello, everyone. I'm Bobo. Today we will draw and color five different sea animals, including sharks, turtles, octopuses, fish, and crabs. Let's start drawing and coloring the shark family. Draw a large circle in the middle, which is the baby shark's head. Then draw a fish tail and a fin. And finally draw the mouth and eyes of the baby shark. On the right, we will draw the mother shark. The mother shark has a bow on her head. Then draw other parts such as the tail, fins, mouth, teeth, and eyes of the mother shark. After drawing the mother shark, draw father shark on the left. Let's follow the same drawing steps as we just drew the baby shark and mother shark. Our shark family has three members, including baby shark, father shark, and mother shark. Now let's color together. Blue. Our father's shark has the color of seawater. Do you know where the shark family lives? They live in the deep sea with other sea animals. So our shark family is complete. Bobo's shark family includes baby shark, mother shark, and father shark. Please practice drawing and coloring a shark family with your parents. Red Yellow I will color the belly of the father shark in yellow Besides sharks, do you know what other animals live in the ocean? In the sea there are also shrimp, crabs, corals, starfish, dolphins, turtles, and many other sea animals. Pink After coloring the father shark, let's color the baby shark in the middle. Bobo's baby shark is pink because Bobo loves pink. What color do you like the most? Green, orange, red, or blue? Choose the color you like best to color your baby shark. Red Yellow this baby shark also has a yellow belly. Do you know how to sing the song about the shark family? Let's sing the baby shark song with Bobo. Baby shark, 
red. The mother shark has a very pretty red bow, doesn't it? Orange color. Bilbo's mother shark will be colored orange. After coloring the head, use orange to continue coloring the two fins of the mother shark. Red Yellow Our shark family all have yellow bellies, right? How many people are there in your family? Can you tell me the names of your family members? So our shark family is complete. Bobo's shark family includes baby sharks mother shark and father shark please practice drawing and coloring a shark family with your parents like and subscribe to the channel to watch more interesting videos hello everyone i'm bobo today we will draw and color a colorful octopus together let's get started first we will draw a large circle here to form the head of the octopus Then draw the eyes and mouth for this octopus. Now let's wake it up. Octopus, octopus, wake up. Octopuses have many long arms that reach out. Let's draw the arms for the octopus. Octopuses are sea animals famous for their rounded bodies, bulging eyes, and eight long arms. Do octopuses know how to build houses? The answer is yes. They build their own homes. Octopuses live in dens made of rocks, and they're amazing builders. They use their powerful arms and the suckers the suction cups on an octopus arm to move rocks into place. And they can even build a rock door that pulls closed when the octopus is home. Should you knock before entering, it's best not to visit at all. Because they're pretty grumpy loners, octopuses even scatter rocks and shells to hide their den. Now let's color together. Red Yellow We will start by coloring the head of the octopus and listen to interesting things about octopuses. An octopus has a soft, bag-like body and large eyes. There are more than 150 species, or types, of octopus. They belong to the group of animals called mollusks, which also includes squid, clams, and oysters. An octopus usually crawls along the ocean bottom, on its arms searching for food. 
It would be funny if you knew that octopus can be great actors. Should the octopus Oscar go to the mimic octopus? It imitates other sea creatures like jellyfish, sea snakes, and crabs to scare off predators. To look like a snake, for example, it hides in a hole and waves to arms about. Brown Red Pink These are the long arms of the octopus. I will color its first arm pink. Its long, slender arms reach out in all directions. Each arm has two rows of cup-like suckers with great holding power. Blue The second arm of the octopus is colored blue. Because blue is the color of seawater, seawater is where octopuses live. If an octopus is in danger, it shoots a jet of water out of its body. This moves the octopus backward very quickly. An octopus also may release an inky fluid to darken the water and confuse an enemy. Purple What color are octopuses? An octopus can change color quickly depending on its surroundings. Or its mood, it can be gray, brown, pink, blue, green. Or even an angry red if it is suddenly frightened. Red. The next arm I will color in red. What color did you choose to color it? Do you know where octopuses live? Most types of octopus live near the coast and make their homes in rocks and corals. They live in all the world's oceans but are especially abundant in warm, tropical waters. Octopuses like their cousin, the squid, are often considered monsters of the deep. Though some species, or types, occupy relatively shallow waters. Green do you know octopuses are super speedy backstroke swimmers? Octopuses swim backwards by blasting water through a muscular tube on their body called a siphon and can reach speeds of up to 40 km per hour for short bursts. They can also crawl along the ocean floor, poking their arms into small openings in search of food. Imagine how many sweets you could carry if you had eight arms. Wow! So our octopus has been drawn and colored in many beautiful colors. It looks so brilliant and beautiful, right? Next we will draw and color a sea turtle.
think? Next, we will draw and color a sea fish. Let's get started. this fish with lots of colors. Yellow.
we will color the crab. Let's get started. This crab has a red shell. There are many types of crabs in the world and they come in many different colors. They can be red, yellow, blue, brown, or black. Bobo's crab is red. Can you count how many legs this crab has? Crabs and other crustaceans have a hard covering. Known as the exoskeleton, like its relative the lobster, a crab has five pairs of legs. The first pair has large pinching claws that help with feeding and defense. The last pair may be broad and flattened to serve as paddles for crabs that swim. So do you know where crabs live? Crabs can be found in all oceans and in fresh water. Some crabs live on land, sometimes several miles from water. Species such as the fiddler crab live in burrows in the sand or mud. Where they stay during winter and high tides, others live within the shells of oysters or mussels. This crab looks really big, right? Crabs have broader bodies than other crustaceans. They come in a great range of sizes. Tiny pea crabs may measure less than an inch to 0.5 centimeters across, the giant crab of Japan. On the other hand, may be more than 1 foot 30 centimeters across and measure 12 feet for meters from tip to tip of its outstretched legs. So how do crabs give birth? All female crabs, including land crabs, must return to the water to lay eggs. The eggs are carried on the female's body until they hatch. For the blue crab, this might mean carrying some 2 million eggs at a time. Although a few baby crabs leave the egg looking like small adults, most do not. Instead, a newly hatched crab is usually a tiny, see-through, legless creature that swims at the top of the water. At this stage, the animal is called a zoea. Crabs then go through a process called metamorphosis, during which they molt shed their outside covering many times. By the end of the process, the crab has developed into its adult form. Here we have many interesting things about crabs. Let's find out together. There are over 6,793 species of crab that can be found in oceans, fresh water, or even on land. Crabs belong to a group of animals called decapids, meaning 10 legs also included in this group are lobsters, shrimps, and prawns. Adult crabs usually attract one another, using chemical scents called pheromones in some species. The males will release pheromones and then use their claws to fan the scents toward the female. Crabs vary in sizes. The pea crab is only a few millimeters wide and the Japanese spider crab is about 4 meters. A group of crabs is called a cast. Crabs can walk in all directions, but they mostly walk and run sideways. Yellow. Finally, let's color this leg yellow. So today we got to color 
and learn a lot of interesting information about crabs, right? Like and subscribe to the channel to watch more interesting videos.